Hi there, my name is Jen Mueller. I'm a sports broadcaster and the founder of Talk Sporty to Me. And I grew up watching sports. I can't remember my life without them. And when I was a kid, baseball was the sport that I watched most. I would either try to catch the games on TV or I would listen to the radio broadcast. And certainly I was reading the newspaper every day just to make sure I knew what the box score said. All of that means that I've got a point of reference and a knowledge base for the games that I currently broadcast. It's easy for me to follow along because I know what it is that I'm looking for. The same might not be true for you. And whether you're a sports fan or not, the truth is baseball is here to stay for a while, at least into November. So I'd like to encourage you to start interacting and engaging in some of those baseball conversations that are happening in your workplace. If you don't know where to start, let's start with these three steps. Number one, pick a favorite team. Now, I would recommend the hometown team because that's the team most people around you are likely to be following and it's the one that you're going to get the most information about naturally, almost organically, which makes it easier to stay in the know. Number two, pick a favorite player. Look, there are 25 players on the active roster which is a lot of names and positions and stats to keep track of, I recommend you pick just one to focus on. If the only thing you're looking for is information about that specific player, it's easier to weed through the articles and the social media postings and everything else to find that specific piece of information you need. Commit to getting at least three pieces of information about your team or your player on a weekly basis. Somebody's likely to ask, hey, where's the team playing? Or, hey, who's pitching? Or, what was the final score in last night's game? You don't have to have an answer. This is not a quiz or a test to figure out if you've been doing your homework. This is just a way for you to get involved in some of these interactions. And if you start small, you'd be surprised at how quickly that information adds up. And by the end of the season, you might find that you know a whole lot more about baseball about that hometown team and about your favorite player than you thought. In addition, I would recommend that you sign up for the Sports Cheat Sheet every Monday. You can get that information at my website, TalkSportyToMe.com.